Oh yes, today is a rainy day, but it is a good day. Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video. And it's finally time. Brooks seems pretty excited, but I gotta say I'm the most excited of all because it's new car day. And I didn't think that I'd be able to say that this early in my life. And I am super grateful that I am able to say this. So we were going to go pick up the car tomorrow, but my dad surprised me and the car is right here in the garage. So without further ado, let me show you guys my brand new 2024 Honda Civic Sport Touring. This thing is just gorgeous finished here in this boost blue we put the hpd wing on back here and i mean what a beautiful car this is it appears a lot lighter on camera but this blue is probably one of the best blues on a modern car i've seen and let alone the color looking good the car just looks good too of course hatchback here because that is unfortunately besides the si the only way we can get a manual in these cars because now honda a company renowned for making manual transmissions only makes four trim levels of the civic with a manual transmission that is it it is the sport which has a two liter k20 this which has the l15 b7 1.5 turbo same motor that's in the si and then of course you have the type r but my i love the hatch a lot more than the sedan mainly because of the hatch and you get this really nice taillight design plus you get a nice little lip from factory and this is a dealer installed option directly from honda but anyways let's show you guys the inside where this thing is fully loaded with a leather interior, full digital dash, 9-inch color uh, digital infotainment display. And of course, we have the 6-speed shifter for this car. And as you can see, we got the three pedals. Now, this car, I did just take it out for a little bit of a spin. It goes, and it really goes. Like it is super nice in here with the perforated leather seats, which is also exclusive to the Sport Touring. These are heated and powered. And if I turn this on, you'll be able to see that we have on this car only 228 miles. Now, on the Sport Touring, it does include the digital uh, dash on the Sport. Just the left side is digital, the right side is an analog speedo, but same kind of setup. We also get home link with this, we get the wireless phone charger, we get dual zone climate control, got a sunroof in here, and then plenty of other amenities, like we got a whole bunch of lane keep assist. We do have adaptive cruise control, which does also come on the Sport, which for a manual, I'm actually really surprised that it came with uh, adaptive cruise control because that's not something I normally see every day anyways we also have the 12 speaker Bose sound system upgraded and I mean I'm just gonna say this right now this car is way too nice for someone like me to have especially going from a 06 Scion TC and we still have that car that's just gonna be the beater or not really the beater, but that's just gonna be the commuter car for my dad because daily in that thing kinda gets a little expensive. So, I mean, this thing is just, I can't be more grateful for my family and what I have. So I just wanna give a huge thank you to my dad for helping me with this. And this is just a reveal video. I'll go into more details in another video let me guys, let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments below if you want to see like a pov driving in this or if you just want to see a review or if you want to see a comparison let me know i mean we don't have that many plans for this car just right now we're gonna do you know just standard stuff maybe ceramic it but down the road we're gonna get an intake gonna get an exhaust maybe get a k-tuner i don't know but 
I'm just, I still haven't taken this in. I literally just got home like 20 minutes ago, so. Oh. All right, so now we're on the road. Uh, first time actually out here on the highway. And so far, you know, it drives like a brand new car. It drives really good. That 1.5's got a little bit of a kick to it, but since it still only has 233 miles on it, we're not pushing it or anything because we just want to break this car in properly. But Sierra feels really good. It, this thing rides so smooth. And the six feet is really hard to get used to just because of, you know, coming from a five speed, that's actually harder to get used to that in the clutch compared to my TC. And one, one note about the clutch, it doesn't have as much feeling as some older cars, and that's kind of a given, but also, if you don't know Honda clutches, the bite point's like at the very, very top. So, if you, you may do something like I have done, just put my seat a little farther back just to get used to that uh, bite point. But otherwise, this car is just a perfect daily driver. I mean, we already had the stereo system going, obviously we can't for a copyright right now, but stereo's good rides really nice and we were just me and dad the one who's filming we were just standing around this thing messing with it and just admiring this thing because it just looks so good and in the next video i come out with this we will have a like better walk around with it because unfortunately it's kind of a yucky day out today so we can't really do that, but hopefully it'll be clear here in a few days, and we'll be able to do that. Another thing that is kind of weird with this car is, because we have that HPD wing in the back, that takes up a little bit of the view, and it's just not, if you're not used to it, then it's kind of strange, but yeah, I'm just in love with this car, just nice commuter and I can't wait until we get to that breaking period so I mean we can just you know stretch his legs a little bit but we were just messing around and we actually found something funny about this car it has lane centering so hypothetically speaking we could just take our hands off the wheel I'm not gonna do that for safety reasons obviously but hypothetically speaking, this thing could more or less drive itself. I mean, you will have to have put your hands on at some point, but that is just funny. All right, so after driving this thing a little bit, it does really good on the highway. I mean, obviously you're still gonna have a little bit of a road noise, but I mean, for an economy car, more or less, I think it's good. And actually, a cool feature that I have on this, that I have on right now, is auto brake hold, which uh, I'm not on the brake or anything, don't have the parking brake on, and it just holds the brakes for me. And it does have the brake lights on in the back, as you can see right here on the gauge. It actually has the brake lights on on the car, which is cool. And also, when you have cruise control on, it can show cars like in front of you and all of that. I just think that's really cool. One annoying feature though, that has caught me off guard a few times is auto start stop, which I don't get why it's on a manual car, but still, I mean, it's just one button. I mean, seriously, who's gonna complain about that? But yeah, overall, I just love driving this car. I haven't gotten it past like, 3,500 yet, just to, again, because of the break-in period. But, but, it's pretty peppy, to be honest. I, I love this thing, and I'm just so grateful to have this. And with that, the first official drive is over. And I mean, I really have nothing but good things to say about this car. I mean, it's just so nice. It's quiet for, I mean, for what kind of car it is, it's very quiet. And 
you know, it's engaging. The shifter's nice and notchy. The clutch, I mean, when compared to that thing back there, the clutch feels kind of numb. But, I mean, just look at this car. I love how this looks. I'm so glad we went with the Boost Blue. Now, some plans for this car. I mean, it has the uh, SI style uh, low, upper front grille, but we might change the lower front grille. Uh, HPD, the same wing, they do make a piece that goes here that like just covers, it's like black. I don't know if we'll do that or not, but for now we're just gonna, you know, leave this car as is. Maybe get spacers, because to be honest, I really love these wheels, how they look stock. That little like almost diamond cut look really adds to this car. But other than that, I think this car is pretty much complete. And I just am in love. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention is the exhaust pipes down there on this like this sport and every other hatch touring besides the sport touring actually that's just a solid diffuser it doesn't end here because these are plastic because as you can see the exhaust tip is there these aren't real so if we ever wanted to do an exhaust just take a few bolts out there and then we can do an exhaust but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video but again i am super super grateful to have this car and just do even be able to make this video and before this i drove a sport and i drove a si so i think this is a pretty happy medium but anyways thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day ciao